via Avenue of Bali. Welcome to the city of love, where history, culture, and romance come alive at every corner. Join us as we explore the best of Paris where its rich history, vibrant neighborhoods, and of course, the exciting preparations for the upcoming Olympic Games. Discover about the best places to explore with my list of the top 10 tourist attractions in Paris. I will recommend also which places to go after visiting those top sites. Musée du Louvre. Louvre Museum, the most visited art museum in the world. Originally built as a fortress in the late 12th century, it was transformed into a royal palace in the 16th century. Before becoming a public museum in 1793, it boasts a vast collection of over 35,000 works of art. Don't miss the chance to see Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, the ancient Greek statue Venus de Milo, and the winged victory of Samothrace. The museum itself is an architectural masterpiece, with its famous glass pyramid entrance. Avoid the lines of the pyramid entrance by going to the carousel entrance. However, you must already have a Louvre Museum ticket or a Paris Museum Pass. See description if you want to purchase Paris Museum Pass. To get to there by metro, you'll take either lines 1 to Louvre Rivoli or this station line 1 and 7. After visiting Louvre, you can continue walk to Pont des Arts or garden tourists to treat yourself to some relaxing time and wandering this beautiful garden. Arc de Triomphe The Arc de Triomphe is a monumental tribute to France's military victories commissioned by Napoleon in 1806. It stands in the center of place Charles de Gaulle, where 12 major avenues converge, including route from the Avenue des Champs Elys ES to the Concorde. The monument was modeled after the Arch of Titus in Rome. At the foot of the Arc de Triomphe is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, dedicated in 1921 as a memorial to an anonymous soldier. If you energetic can climb to 184 steps to the top for a panoramic view of Paris, A lot of tourists like to stand in the middle of road. To take this monument photo, do be careful, the nearest metro stop is Charles de Gaulle Toil, Metro Line 1, 2 and 6, or RER 8. Les Champs-Élysées. Often called the most beautiful avenue in the world. It is famous for its luxury boutiques like Louis Vuitton, Dior, Longchamp, you can find many fast foods if you stay there late, such as Five Guys, Quick, Burger King, and McDonald's. Mostly, they closed after 12 midnight. You can have a walk from Arc de Triomphe to Concorde, which is around 1.3 miles. If want to know more, check out my video on. To reach here, take Metro 2. Montmartre Montmartre is a charming neighborhood known for its winding cobblestone streets and pedestrian staircases. At the top of the hill, you'll find the stunning Sacre Coeur Basilica. Enormous mock Romano Byzantine edifice began in 1877. Remember to go inside the basilica with free of charge. Don't miss the views of the city from the lawns outside. Place du Turder, where artists set up their easels and capture the essence of the city. This area was once home to famous artists like Picasso and Van Gogh. Montmartre actually also known for its nightclub district. Uncover the hidden gems of Montmartre is many tourist activity. There are so many things to do and see in Montmartre. If want to know more, check out my video on Notre-Dame de Paris. 
It is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture and a symbol of Parisian heritage. Despite the damage done by the 2019 fire, the cathedral's exterior remains awe-inspiring. The cathedral is expected to partially reopen by December 2024, so keep an eye out for updates on its restoration progress. Upon visiting Notre Dame, get a coffee relaxing at Shakespeare and Company, or can go Amazing Street Rue de la Huchette. With lots of Parisian shops and cafes, Notre Dame can be reached by Metro Line 4, Sit, or Saint Michel Notre Dame Station. La Tour Eiffel. Eiffel Tower, the quintessential symbol of Paris. Standing at 324 meters, this iron lattice tower offers spectacular views of the city from three different levels. Whether you visit during the day or at night, the Eiffel Tower is a must-see. Tourists like to spend some time taking photos of the Eiffel Tower. There are so many places, and these are my own recommendation. Trocadéro. Pont de Biraken. Champ de Mars. Pont Alexandre III. The sparkles happened every evening after dusk, for five minutes at the beginning of each hour. If you want to know more, check out my video on Top 9 Tips for Eiffel Tower Visitors. Opéra Garnier. Its condition by Napoleon III is a masterpiece of Baroque architecture and a symbol of Paris's cultural heritage. Attend a ballet, opera, or music performance to truly appreciate the grandeur of the Palais Garnier. Alternatively, book in advance for a self-guide tour to explore this architectural gem. After visit, you can continue your journey to Galleries Lafayette Houseman for shopping. The Roissy bus shuttle provides a direct link between CDG Airport to Opera. The Opera Metro stop is the closest one to the Palais Garnier and it is served by lines 3, 7, and 8. You can also get there on the RERA line, exiting at the Auber station. Jardin du Luxembourg. It located in the Latin Quarter. Peaceful retreat in the heart of Paris. You can admire the 106 statues dating from the 19th century to the present. The centerpiece of the gardens is a real palace date back to 1612. The iconic green chairs of Paris sit scattered here and there. Emily is seen running through here throughout Emily in Paris season 3. Do come during autumn time. The scene is really breathtaking. It can be reached by RERB Luxembourg. La Défense. Standing at the western end of the Axe Historic, the Grand Arch de la Défense is a modern marvel. This colossal structure offers spectacular views of Paris. This is the business district of La Défense, with its sleek skyscrapers. France's largest shopping mall boasts more than 200 shops. Westfield Les Four Temps also located here. It can also be reached fastest way by RER Line A. Centre Georges Pompidou. The Pompidou Center is known for its radical design of exposed pipes and colorful exteriors. It houses one of the largest collections of modern and contemporary art in Europe. The collection focuses on contemporary art created from 1905 to the present. The center also offers panoramic views of Paris from its rooftop terrace. After visiting the Pompidou, continue to explore Charming La Marais Quarter. Rambudeau Line 11 is the nearest metro station. Paris is a city that never ceases to amaze. From its historical landmarks to its artistic treasures, there's something for everyone. Do you have a favorite place in Paris? Share it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more travel guide. Au revoir and see you in Paris.